Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for chair yoga. So today we'll be moving all the way through the body, getting a little range of motion, building a little awareness, and finding a little more ease. Making sure that the chair you're on is stable and comfortable, and that you've got a little bit of space around you. As we set up in a comfortable seated position, know that there's no wrong way of doing any of this. You're listening to me a little bit at the time, but most of the time you're listening to yourself and tapping into what feels best for you, adjusting things as they need to be adjusted for your body, and maybe doing less repetitions, more repetitions, changing things up in a way that suits you. And if you need to rest at any time, please rest. And this is of course a recording. So once you've had enough, you can always turn it off and come back to it later. Deciding for yourself whether you want the support at the back of your chair, if you want to sit away from it to begin, feet at a comfortable distance for you. And then we'll root down through the feet, pushing down evenly through the left and right foot as best as we can. Picking up the toes, spreading them wide or fanning them out. And that wakes up the arches of the feet. You might even feel this drawing up through the inner legs of the body. When you're ready, let the toes soften down just gently. And we have a solid foundation to start our practice on. Feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze or lower your gaze as you take all of your awareness down to your feet. And it doesn't matter if you've got socks on or shoes on. Starting to tap into the surface underneath you that is supporting you. And allow the muscles of your legs to release and relax. So you are being held and supported here. You can even, pushing down evenly through the left and the right foot, even start to build a little pressure, maybe five or 10%, to feel the muscles of your legs waking up. And then let that pressure go. Noticing that the knees are more or less over the ankles, feet in a comfortable distance. And then we'll take the awareness up to where our seat meets the chair. And you're welcome to shift the flesh of your seat away from you if you like, depending on the kind of chair you're on. If you wiggle from side to side, you might notice those two bony bits underneath you. Those are the sitting bones, the base of the pelvis. So we even up that left and right side as best as we are able or as best as our body is telling us that it's good for it. Taking our awareness to where our seat meets the chair. Evening the sitting bones up left to right. And a good way to do that is to kind of rock and roll a little bit from side to side. Depending on the kind of chair you're on, you might notice those two bony bits right underneath your seat, one either side, and we even up the pressure just like we did on the feet as best as we can. And then take a big breath in when you're ready on the exhale, sit the weight of the upper body down into the seat. And you can take a couple of breaths to do that. We're gonna soften around the torso, especially the lower back and the belly, across the shoulders. So we really get that groundedness through the pelvis. And then from here, from that groundedness, we lift up through the spine, up through the heart, up through the crown of the head, 
rising from that grounding, rolling the shoulders back and down a couple of times, and then settling the shoulders down. Being curious as to whether the shoulders are forward or back of the hips and seeing if you can balance them over the top of the hips as best as feels good for you this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whenever you're doing this. Chin drop, drops just a little so the back of the neck is long and for most of us we're sitting the back of the skull back a little ways as if our head, our shoulders and the back of the pelvis is resting against a kind of an imaginary wall. Broaden the collarbones so we get this broadness over the upper body and then notice how this feels in your body. There may be things that are a little different to how you normally sit down in a chair. Take a big breath in when you're ready. Keep the alignment as best as feels good for you and then let it go. Make all those small or big adjustments. So once again, we're rooting to rise, rooting from the pelvis down, rising through the upper body and broadening. And this is just bringing our awareness to our posture. Hands resting wherever they're comfortable resting on the arms of the chair, your legs or dangling down, your choice. And again, the invitation is to soften the gaze, lower the gaze or close the eyes. And notice, ask yourself the question, how are you doing in this moment? Not needing to fix or change anything or follow the stories as to why that is. Just notice, how am I doing today? Notice what's on your mind. Something that's coming up maybe, something that's already been. Are there any feelings connected to those thoughts, emotions that are present? And maybe you notice something, but you're not quite sure what it is. Maybe there's a whole list of things. There's no wrong way to do this check-in. It's just taking a moment to really see how you are. We often don't do this day to day even. Notice how your body's feeling without judgment, without the stories as to why. Just notice the energy levels you have today. Notice if there are any tight or tender places that you need to be mindful of as you practice. If there's any tension, is there anything you can do right now to ease it? And then start to notice the breath and the body. And as we do that, maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you or a different easy breath for you. Starting to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale in your own rhythm and pace, not really with any particular agenda. And we smooth that out all the way to the top of the breath and down to the bottom of the breath. deeper, smoother breath. See if you can let go of any forcing, any straining, even if it means the breath gets a little smaller. And starting to notice where you feel the breath. And it may be as simple as around the nose or mouth. 
Notice if you can feel it down in your hot space, around your ribs. And you might even be able to feel it all the way down in your belly as the inhale expands and the exhale softens, however subtle. And notice if you can also feel that breath in the back body, the back of your ribs. You might even be able to feel it in the mid or lower back. And we start to build this awareness with how the breath moves through the body and the breath. And the body is constantly moving with the breath. And this noticing how the breath in the body anchors our awareness a little more deeply into the breath. And another thing you can add to that is the sound of your breath as it moves in and out as you watch your body ebbing and flowing with the rhythm of your breath. And as we notice the breath, we tend to put a little more action in there. So stepping back from, again, any straining or forcing so it feels like you could just sit here and breathe like this all day. Steady and smooth, smooth and steady. And that's the breath we'll take into our practice. You can come back to it at any time. So let's root down through our feet and seat. Lift from there and broaden and we breathe. Noticing that breath everywhere that you can. We'll take our nose over to the right side, drawing the collarbones wide so that left shoulder doesn't slide forward. This is the inhale on the exhale. We'll dip that down and up the other side to the left, and that's the movement. Exhaling down, inhaling up side to side. Nice and slow, moving with the breath. Noticing how the neck and shoulders feel. Always doing a little less. If that feels better for you, less repetitions, every other one. Or resting. Let's take another two either side. Whenever you feel ready, the next time we draw that chin down towards the chest, we'll leave it there just for a little bit, sitting the shoulders back in space, breathing into any areas that feel tight, tense. And then on the inhale, we'll come all the way up. On the next inhale, let's lift the right ear up towards the sky, drawing the right shoulder down so we get that space in the right side of the neck. And then we'll come back through center and then inhale the left ear up, finding that length. And we'll go from side to side, noticing if you're trying to push to the very edge of your range of motion. If you sit back a little bit from that edge, then the body naturally feels a little safer and will open up. If you push right to the edge of your comfort level, then all that happens is the body tightens up a little bit. Move with the breath, that steady breath, noticing where that breath is in your body. Last one here. And we'll come all the way back through center, drawing the head back in space. We're going to take those hands dangling down next to us, nice and easy through the joints, bent, bent elbows if you've got arms on your chair. And then we'll circle both shoulders here, inhaling up, exhaling down and around whichever direction you're moving in. And again, same thing here. If you're going to the very edge of that range of motion, notice if you just sit a little back from that edge, 
then your body naturally will allow that opening to happen rather than that contracting. Keep the movement flowing with the breath. And at the next exhale, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. And you might notice this in very different parts of your body. You keep connected to that breath. And you might pick a place in your body that you'll focus on just for a few breaths, noticing the breath there, and then changing that awareness. Or you might keep it in one place. Let's take another one or two circles. Mm -hmm. And then we'll dangle those hands down, taking those hands into a soft or tight fist, your choice. Bringing the elbows in towards the ribs, and we'll circle the wrists. Mm -hmm. And then very slowly taking that round in the opposite direction. Noticing everything that is in your awareness with curiosity, with a huh, interesting, rather than a judgment. And then wig wiggling those fingers. And from here, rooting to rise, we're going to take those arms up in a cactus, fingertips on or towards those shoulders. And then when you feel ready, we're going to draw those elbows up, out, down, and forward. So drawing circles with the elbows. And those circles can be nice and small and low. Maybe they get a little bigger as you ease into the movement. Drawing the elbows away from each other, getting that expanse over the front body, but also drawing the elbows in towards each other. Doesn't matter whether the elbows reach each other, that really depends on the bone length in your arms. Those, that range of motion through the shoulders. And the next time those elbows come down, you can pause and rest a few breaths if you like, or we'll take that round in the opposite direction. And you may notice that one shoulder movement is very different from another. Be gentle, again, no judgment. Keep that breath connected into your awareness. Notice if there's areas that you're rushing through. And then after your next exhale, we'll pause and take those hands down. A little softness there. Let's take those arms beside us, shoulder blades drawing towards each other. And again, the chin's drawn in back of the head is resting against that imaginary wall. This is the inhale on the exhale. Let's dangle those right fingertips down. And we're lifting through at the crown of the head and the left ear. Inhaling up through center. And again, lengthening on that right side. Keeping both sitting bones anchored down. Mm-hmm. Finding that length either side, getting that lateral flexion. If it feels good to you, you can stay here or take the hands behind, cupped behind the head or even on top of the head if your arms are getting a little tired. Elbows wide, and this of course is getting the center of gravity a little higher. And again, finding that length as we lift through one elbow, Rooting down through the same hip and lift through the opposite elbow. Now let's take one more either side. And 
And when you feel ready, coming back through center, hands dangling down, and just give them a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a shake, taking them back to support when you're ready. Rooting to rise and come back to the breath. Notice what it is about the breath that you notice most at this moment. Steadying and smoothing the breath as best as you can. If you're sitting into the back of the chair, I highly recommend you come forward, even if it's just a little bit, as long as you feel stable as we get down into the spine. On the inhale, we're arching the back, forward the heart, forward hands, draw back to the elbows, draw back on the exhale, pushing the fingertips towards or on the knees as we round. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how that feels for you. Mm -hmm. If you want to add the arms, let's do opposite arms. So on the inhale, let's lift up through one arm and exhale, tapping down as we round and then we'll go to the other side. Notice the breath flowing through the movement. You might notice that one side feels very different from the other. Allow that to be so without any judgments or stories as to why that is. Mm -hmm. Option to stay here one arm and then the other, or for the last three, both hands. Inhaling as if you're holding a beach ball, exhaling down and round. And then after that last exhale, we're coming all the way back through center, big breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done, coming in to our twist. So we're gonna be twisting over to the left side to start with, and we're gonna bend that right elbow in towards the right ribs, and a soft fist with that right hand. This is the inhale, coming back through center. We're gonna take that right hand, and bringing it across the chest and as if we're slow punching it over to the left side, inhaling back through center. Now that hand can come a little more forward, a little more to the side, or even for some of us, we have a range of motion that can come back, not in my body, but anchor that right hip by pushing down through the right foot, and then we're just as if molasses, moving through molasses, taking that right hand over towards the left side. Noticing if your lower body is coming along with you, seeing if we can anchor the pelvis and the legs down. So the twist is coming through the spine only. You can take that gaze over the left shoulder if you want to. And then next time we're going to take this up and to where the ceiling meets the wall. So all the way up across the body and again bringing that fist back towards the shoulder. And we're anchoring that right hip down once more. You're going to feel this slightly differently. And then for the last three we're going to take it down where we're taking the arm across the body to the left. And again, you might feel this very differently. Adjusting this for your body. This is the last one. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go middle, top, bottom. Across the body. And up towards the top left. And down towards the bottom left. 
two more times, middle, top, and bottom, with your own rhythm. Noticing where you feel this in your body. Again, taking that gaze with the fist or over that shoulder, you get to choose. Lower body is stable and still. One last time. Mm -hmm. And across the body, and we're coming back through to center. Any intuitive movement to release tension, we're coming to the other side. Left elbow bends, soft fist with that left hand, anchoring down, rooting to rise, and anchoring our awareness into the breath. This is the inhale, we're drawing that arm back in space, the elbow back. We've already been here with our um, shoulder movements. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're now taking that left arm over towards the right side. Now the further forward that comes in space, the less twist there is. Anchoring down through the left hip by rooting down through that left leg. And take the gaze towards the right or even back over that right shoulder. Nice and slow. Take breaks when you need to. Adjust the movement to your body. Keep it synchronized with the breath. And you can stay here. Or for the next three, we're gonna meet up where the ceiling meets the wall on that right side. You might feel this in very different places, keeping that left hip anchored down. So getting that length across that left side and the back body maybe, you might feel it in other areas. Last one here, and then we're gonna take it down across the body and down towards the earth. You might feel this in, again, very different places. And then three times, middle, top, and bottom. Keep the breath flowing in your awareness. Mm -hmm. And we've got one more middle, top, and bottom. Keep the breath flowing. Notice what's happening in your body. Make adjustments or rest as you need to. And then we're coming all the way back through center, giving those arms a little dangle. We're gonna do a little one little movement here in the body, keeping the shoulders even here. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna just shift the shoulders over to the left side. So we're not tipping the shoulders down. It is literally as if you're sitting in between two people and you're just giving them a little nudge with that left shoulder. I'm gonna inhale back through center and then take it over to the right side. Mm -hmm. Great place to stay right here in the spine as you take that side to side. And the option is to take the head there too. So we're leaning one ear towards one side, but we're not dropping the shoulders. And then we're taking the ear to the other side, almost lifting the jaw and the ear. Getting that into the movement through the neck as well as the spine. Mm-hmm. One more here, and coming back through center. Hands resting down, big breath in. Exhaling it out. We're gonna root down through those feet. And on the inhale, you're gonna lift that right heel up. Exhale, taking it down. And then we're gonna come to the left side, lifting up the heel, exhale, taking it down. Keeping it with the breath to start with. Option to take it all the way up through tippy toes. 
And what we want is the control of the movement here. One more either side. Bring that motion through the feet, through the ankles. And we'll take that left heel down. And then we're gonna take this into a wide and narrow march. So let's start with um, just marching, um, seated marching here. So we're gonna lift up through the right heel and then toes, and then setting that down. And then we're gonna come to the left side. Keeping the upper body as still and as stable as possible. And again, what we're looking for is control here. And of course, this is coming through the core. We're strengthening through the hips. And you might even be feeling it through the quads here. The hip flexes are moving. Notice if you're um, throwing your upper body weight forward and back. If that's the case, don't take the knees quite so high, but what we want is the smoothness of the movement here. You can stay here, nice and slow. Or if you want to, you can start to pick up the pace. Keep that breath in your awareness. Option to stay here option to lift the knee up and out and then the opposite knee up and out and maybe this is a big external rotation or maybe it's not so much and then we're going to be tapping it back in making sure you feel stable on your chair getting that external rotation and notice if the upper body is swinging backwards and forwards and just don't do so much we want the torso to be stable and the movement to be coming really through the lower body here. Although the upper body has a whole lot to do with this, we've got especially around that corset of core muscles. Nicely done. Next time we're gonna take those legs wide and we're gonna stay there. External rotation. And if you need to adjust yourself in any way, please do. Ankles more or less under the knees. Hands resting on the legs and we're rooting to rise. Come back to the steadiness of breath if the breath got elevated. And then we're going to circle with the ribs. Inhaling, rounding forward, exhaling, rounding back. It can be a big or small movement or Get the shoulders, the head, the neck, the pelvis, even the feet involved. And keep the breath in your awareness, filling up on that inhale and letting the breath leave on the exhale as the belly draws in. Mm -hmm. What we're looking for is flow. And then we'll pause and come around in the opposite direction. Softening the gaze, closing the eyes if you feel stable and just noticing how you experience this in your body as you stay connected to that breath. Steady, steady and smooth. And then when you're ready, you're coming back through center, rooting down to rise, and then taking those feet back into a more parallel position, and washing those knees side to side. Rooting to rise, anchoring with the breath. 
Do a little check in here. Notice how you're doing. Your mind, your body. How you're feeling. And then when you feel ready, we'll set the chair to one side. I'll meet you down on the earth. If you want to bring the earth to you, lie down on a supported surface, like on a bed or even on a reclined chair that is very stable and you can move from there and when you're ready I'll see you down there here we are down on the earth let's come all the way to our back gathering with you everything you need for relaxation and here we are Knees bent, feet to the floor, picking the pelvis up and sending them a little closer towards your heels. That way we have a little bit more of a long spine. We'll take a big breath in here. Exhale it out. Let the body sink into the support underneath you and then start to come back to that breath. A steady, smooth breath, maybe noticing it in your torso. You might notice it coming down all the way into the belly. Re-establish that connection into the breath as we bring that right knee in towards us. And from here, just starting to circle through the ankle, nice and slow. Pause and take it around in the opposite direction. And then we're going to keep that right knee drawn in and then extend the left leg out long. Flexing through both ankles, pushing down through the back of the left leg and drawing that right knee in towards the shoulder. Opening up through the groin and rolling the shoulders back and down and towards each other so we really get that opening here. across the chest and then from here you're welcome to stay here anchored in in the back body any neck and throat shoulder issues or tense and tight jaw then um, option to stay here or this is the inhale keeping that hand those hands gathered in behind the knee around the thigh in front of that shin on the exhale, draw the belly down towards the earth and bring the nose in towards the knee and inhale back through center. So, pulsing here, trying to keep the hands and the arms relatively soft so we're not gathering in too much tension. And then the option is for the last three is to draw the nose in towards the knee, push through the left heel and breathe. And keep connected to the breath. And then on the next inhale, we're taking the shoulders, the head all the way down. Bending that left leg, taking the ankle, oh, right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Here we are in a figure four and winging that right knee down and away from you as we breathe. Option to stay here. Option to gather that left thigh in towards you, hands either side of the thigh, underneath the knee or in front of that shin as we bring it in to thread the needle. Let the legs do a lot of the work here so you're not bringing too much tension into the arms, the shoulders, the neck, the throat, and the jaw. Soft through the face. A 
And then when you're ready, we'll take that all the way down to the earth. Left foot is released down if it wasn't already, and then right foot too. Left knee draws in, giving yourself a little hug, and we're circling through that ankle, nice and slow. Trying to get through all of the joints of the feet too, so we're spreading the toes and pointing the toes, taking it around in the opposite direction. And then foot comes back to a flex. We're going to gather that left knee in towards the chest, hands anywhere they feel comfortable. And then we'll send that right leg out long, flexing through both ankles and pushing down through the right leg all the way through to the heel. Shoulder blades drawn back towards you and we're gathering that left knee up in towards that left shoulder. And we're getting this opening across the chest and down through the groin, finding that length. We've got that compression on the left side of the ribs. And we're breathing. Option to stay here, softening through at the shoulders. Any head and neck issues, any eye conditions, head injuries, you're staying here. Or we can start to, on an exhale, gather the nose in towards the knee and then lay the base of the skull back down. Nice and slow. And the option is here to keep pulsing or rest or for the last three, nose in towards the knee and hold. Keeping the expression on the face soft, the breath is easy, keep connected to where you feel the breath in the body. And on the next inhale, or when you're ready, we're laying the head back down Bending that right knee, left ankle comes over the top of that right thigh, and we're in thread the needle here. Option to stay here, winging that left knee out. The left ankle is flexed, so we protect the knee. Staying here, or gathering that right thigh in towards the belly as the right foot comes off the earth. Hands land wherever they're comfortable, and we're breathing into the left hip here. Both feet flexed. Let the legs do a lot of the work here, so that right thigh is really drawing into the left ankle. The left ankle is pushing away, so your arms, shoulders, neck, and throat are doing a whole lot less. Again, breathing into that left hip. Mm -hmm. And then when you feel ready, we'll take that right foot down to the earth if it's not there already, and then release the left leg. From here, taking both legs long. And then we'll walk the feet over to the right side of the mat. All the way over to the right side and we'll cross that right ankle on top of the left to anchor everything down. And this may feel a lot here. We're getting that length through the left hip. Option to stay here. Option to take the arms in a cactus or a T anchoring especially down through that left shoulder. And the last option here is to lengthen through the left arm up and overhead. You can bend that elbow if you like. Take the left hand with the right, left wrist with the right hand and draw yourself over to the right side, getting that length all the way down through the left side of the body. Breathing into the left rib cage, left waistline, the hip on that left side, and anywhere else you might feel it. Any straining, any forcing, see if you can relax. A lot of the time we bring that straining into the shoulders, the throat, the jaw, see if you can release the muscles of the face. Let 
noticing how that feels. that grip on the arms if you had it, untether that right heel and bringing the body back through center. Coming back through a couple of breaths there and then we're walking those heels over towards the left side. This may feel very different, we're getting into the right length of the body here. Option to cross that outer ankle on top of the right ankle. Great place to stay here. Hands can be on your belly or down by your hips or in a cactus or a T anchoring, especially that right shoulder down. And the option is to lengthen the right arm a little overhead, a little or a lot, or bending the elbow, taking hold of the right wrist and coming over to that left side, anchoring that right shoulder down though. So we're not over, taking that right arm over the face, it is overhead or in a cactus or a T or down by the shoulders or down by the hips, sorry, the hands down by the hips. Breathing into the right waist, the right hips, hip space, the right rib cage, we're getting that length making any adjustments you need to. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, we're releasing the arms. Unbind your ankles and then bring the feet back into center. Drawing one knee in and then another, giving yourself a little hug here, massaging the lower back as you maybe rock and roll a little bit side to side. And then keeping those knees bent, take the feet to the floor and just shift the hips to the right side. Arms in a cactus or a teal down by the hips and we're drawing those knees in, keeping them together and taking the knees over to the left side. And we breathe, keeping the right shoulder anchored and then the gaze coming over that right shoulder. If you need support in between your lower legs and knees or underneath that left outside leg, please take it. You can anchor down that top knee by taking that left hand there. And we breathe. Whole body breath here, right way down into the belly, maybe even the lower back. Smooth and steady the breath. And when you're ready, we'll release everything back through center. Feet come down and we're shifting the hips through center and over to the left side. Anchor that left shoulder down and we're bringing the knees up together and over to the right side. Any support you need underneath the right leg, please take it. And we get this beautiful twist all the way through the upper body. Maybe the gaze comes over that left shoulder, depending on how it feels in your neck. And we breathe. Whole body breaths here, noticing the steadiness, the smoothness. Releasing tension and tightness where you can. And when you feel ready, gaze comes to center, knees come up through center, feet down, and we're adjusting ourselves back into a place that feels good for us. 
can take those feet a little wider and just wash the knees side to side, massaging the back of the pelvis. And then your options here in relaxation are many. Taking the most comfortable position for you. Maybe keeping the knees bent, taking the knees in towards each other, feet a little wider. We've got that tented position, constructive rest. You want to spread out a little bit more like a starfish. If there is more support under the back of the knees or the thighs to support the lower back, if you prefer to be on your side or your belly or any other position, taking with you everything you need for your relaxation here. There is no wrong way to do this. And then settling in and settling down. Taking a big, beautiful breath in and exhaling it out long and slow. And then when you feel ready, starting to release your practice as you let your bones get heavier, releasing through your joints. Inviting all the soft tissues and muscles to unwind. Encouraging your inner body to soften and let go of tension, of tightness. And the muscles of the face release entirely. Allowing yourself this time to rest. And you might notice without any control of the breath, you might notice this wave of breath that comes and goes, ebbs and flows at your natural rhythm. And if the mind wanders at all, as the mind does, gather your awareness back to this wave, this natural ebbing and flowing of the breath coming in and out without any control. And you can stay here for as long as you like. And if you wish to continue that deeper relaxation practice, please do. If you wish to end your practice without needing to look around, just feel into the support underneath your body, the space around you. And the 
notice that breath coming in and out of your body, ebbing and flowing, coming and going in your own rhythm. Starting to deepen the inhale and we'll exhale out like a soft sigh. If you want to reach and come back to gentle movement, stretching or curling in giving yourself a hug or any other intuitive movement that feels right for you please go ahead moving your body in your own way and we'll settle in and settle down into a place that you've decided to finish up your practice however that looks there's no right or wrong way to do it we settle into the support underneath us. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Any gesture that suits you today, please. We'll take a breath in together. On the exhale, dipping that chin just slowly and gently towards the heart space. Thanking yourself for taking the time today for your practice. From my heart to yours, thank you for being